Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Think hard before leaving that good man. Oh, incidentally, before I get started, uh, I remember somebody commented and say I speak to the ladies different than I speak to the men. That's what a man's supposed to do. We spoke, man, supposed to handle y'all and engage with y'all in a different way. It's just normal. Any man who's successful, successful with women can tell you that. But anyway, think hard before you leave that good man. And this is a constant, constant, constant theme. In fact, someone I follow on um, IG, you know, a woman, she got that big old round butt dunk and stuff, talking about dating her ex-husband and everything, getting back with the ex. And I was like, what? And I was just like, and this particular woman, I saw her, she actually had the picture with the, I remember when she divorced her husband. I remember the picture of the guy she got with. You know, typical fine dude, you know. Typical dude who would be considered fine, had the look and everything. And then, you know, now all of a sudden she's talking about dating her husband, <laughs> ex-husband. And I'm, look, ladies, it is a constant theme. I've talked about that before. You know, that was one of, when I was still just writing blogs, uh, one of the biggest thing uh, I talked about was a blog, Losing Mr. Right, a woman, she had that good guy. She had that good guy married to him, but she let her friends uh, put some bad stuff in her ears and stuff. All of a sudden, she leaving the guy. Of course, one of her friends ended up getting with the guy, but, you know, she had a good guy. Because, ladies, look, a lot of times when y'all want to roll from a good man, a good man, and before I even go further, please don't try to deflect and say, well, men leave good women. Uh, I talk about that on my men's channel. Anyway, before, you know, a lot of times, so many times, I, you know, a woman thinking about leaving that good man, it's like they're not appreciating what they have. So they thinking they can do better. The grass is greener syndrome. And then you leave that uh, for that new guy he find and everything. And I'm going to talk more about that fine one in the next one. But you think that guy all fine, he tell you some stuff you want to hear, and you get with him. And even if the sex is good, you find out he really ain't for you. See, understand something with a truly good man. That truly good man goes beyond what's happening in the bedroom. And yeah, I know I promote uh, a man developing himself sexually on my men's channel, but you know, also talk about dealing some other things. I also talk about sovereignty and also have a channel telling a man how to make money. So it's, look, I'm telling them to do the thing. But see, a lot of times when a woman get a good man who's doing some of those other things, doing some of the stuff they ain't thinking about. You know, a lot of times a, a woman might have that guy who's taking care of the bills and taking a lot of stress off of her until she roll away and all of a sudden she got nothing but stress. I actually know of a situation where a woman, she separated, divorced a guy because she didn't appreciate what he had. Then as soon as she divorced him and stuff, all of a sudden she started, she started putting on weight. And she also started developing high blood pressure and some other things. And really, I know a few like that. They did, if you look at a lot of situations where a woman rolls out from now, I don't know if the person, the man was good or not, but the woman's not any better. It's only a few situations that look like the woman's doing better. A lot of times they're doing worse. You know, like I said, there are situations where the woman rolled out. But what I found in my observation is when a woman rolled out and she does better, the man was just bad. But when a woman rolled out from a guy who was otherwise good, she don't do better. I haven't seen, I've yet to see that. I've yet to see a woman really improve. You know, usually going through a lot of shit. A lot of shit. Then all of a sudden that guy she rode from looked better because he was doing a lot of stuff. Like I said, he was doing a lot of stuff she took for granted. And usually, you know, that fine dude, yeah, the dude might be fine, but he's just something new. 
That's all he is. He's something new. So, you know, you in a bad situation, you know, because then you want that good guy back. But see, another woman who's sensible, who's sensible, she, she's going to jump on that guy. Because that's one of the things, and that's one of the things I want to promote to the ladies. Be sensible. Yeah, we hear that y'all emotional and stuff, but also know that y'all very pragmatic. You got to think. You got to start truly thinking long term. See, that's one thing. I used to think women as a whole thought long term, but I have to change that thinking. I had to start changing that thinking. To me, women, they, they stuck in that moment. They ain't thinking the long term. They just thinking the guy look good and all of that, told them what they want to hear and everything. And that thinking a real relationship, this is going to be good and bad. You know, you think you're going to do better, but here's something else. A lot of times, if a man see you already left a good man, he ain't cool with it. He already, unless he ain't that smart himself, he going to think you're going to do the same thing to him. So he, he might even disrespect you. It was like, oh, yo, OK, you did this to this guy. You cheated on this guy. You wanted me, even though this guy was doing everything. Yeah. All, right. all of a sudden, you just a fuck buddy for him. He ain't, he ain't in a serious relationship. See, that's another thing. A lot of times a woman leave a guy and they'll get that new one thing. And he wants to be buddies and everything for years. And no, he don't. He just wanted the pussy, you know? You gotta think long and hard. Now, like I said, look, if the guy is somebody who's abusing you, get out. If the guy isn't supporting your dreams, get out. If you don't feel like you're growing with the guy, get out, okay. But what if you are growing, really? Because some women, they can have the guy doing everything. I've seen it so many times. The guy's doing, he's working to do his best. And he's taking care of all the stuff. He's even trying to be good in bed. You know, might even be good in bed. He should even great in bed. You know, and logically that should keep the woman. But mm, we know y'all don't always operate with logic. You think you can do just a bit better. Or you, you magnify some little small thing that can be worked to, to a big thing. Because that's why one of the things I'm always telling y'all, hey, work on yourself. Love yourself. Shoot, you should love yourself enough to know you want to be treated right. But see, a lot of times you, you get caught up in that moment and then you're the sad one. You're the sad one. You got caught up in it. So many, it's, it's a shame how many women have gotten caught up like that. Indeed, that's why in some cultures, they arrange the marriage. And it'd be the women doing it because they're like, nah, she, she ain't going to make the good decision. Or, you know, you get some elders, they try to say, hey, look, you need to grab that dude right there now. You know? And then some of y'all will get that good guy. And all I'm saying is this, you better think real hard. Don't just leave off a whim. Like I said, if he, he's abusive or you're not growing or you're not connecting at all, okay, that's understandable. But don't, don't, no, never, never leave a good guy just off some basic superficial thing, some illusion or something. Because it's hard. Ladies, look, look, let's be real. Even though uh, numerically there's a bunch of men out here, numerically, realistically, though, there's only going to be some who's going to deal with it. And let's talk about that real quick. You got to ask yourself, how many of these guys are going to actually want you? Seriously, how many guys are seriously going to want you? You get this guy who actually wants you, wants to be with you. What happens when, okay, you roll out, you might roll out for that one guy, that illusion, and then you can't get back to the good man, you might be by yourself. There's a lot of women out there who had, that's one thing, just talking with a lot of women. Remember, a third of my consultations uh, are with women. Well, had that good guy, had that guy who really gave a shit about them. And they let him go and find out the other guys out there don't even find her attractive or find, or shoot, it might have been one of y'all. Don't even find you attractive anymore. Because let's just be real. Let me, I'm going to be real with that. This dude actually found you attractive too, and he got a reason to stay with you. Because let's be real, men, we, we are unapologetic about just going for a woman's looks as a group. Now, the more sensible men go and look into your personality, but let's just keep it a buck. We don't care about your degrees, anything like that as a group. We just want to know, do you look nice? You get our dicks hard. Do we like looking at you? Do you get our dicks hard? And then the smarter ones are add, okay, is she cooperative? Seriously. And let's just be real. Men and women 
don't maintain that same uh, physical, most don't maintain that same physical attractiveness as they get older. Men can get away with it a bit more because y'all as women, y'all look at more things than we do. But men, shoot, that list is like, is she fine? And is she cool to be around? <laughs> Seriously, and, you know, it really for most men, is she fine? So think about it. you got this guy. He's willing to grow with you throughout any changes, physical changes. He's still feeling you. He still genuinely loves you. But you, you know, you might think, oh, wow, this guy's showing some attention. Well, that guy just love your doggy style. I'm just being real, ladies. You know, I ain't gonna tell you some bullshit on here. So you need to think hard. I ain't saying don't necessarily don't just keep them all, man. Like I said, there could be several factors. You need to, you need to weigh them. You need to seriously weigh them. And even then, you need to be, if you have to go, be careful how you do it. But don't leave off a whim, especially a good man. All right, ladies? So, and I'm a, I'll probably address it again because, like I said, a third of my clients are women. And you start, I started talking with them, and virtually every woman has been with that one good guy. All I do is listen and talk, listen to her talk been with a guy. I'll just ask. Sometimes I'll let y'all just talk. Sometimes I'll be like, well, you ever been with a really good guy? And there's like, yeah, what happened? It'd be some silly ass shit. They'll say it's some silly ass shit. So think hard, ladies. All right. So anyway, that's all I have for now, ladies. Get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.